Uh, good afternoon, morning, everybody. Um, Darren Dawson, co-founder, president of BombBomb.com. Thank you. Uh, we're coming to you live from the Bomb Bomb Cafe here at World Headquarters in beautiful Colorado Springs, Colorado. We can see Pikes Peak from here. It's gorgeous today. It always it has been every single time I've been here, but it is gorgeous today. I'm here with the Jesse Peters and the Michael Thorne, both from Canada. Why don't you introduce yourselves, Michael? Tell us, you know, most people should know, but who are you? What sure. are you doing? Where sure. are you from? Sure. That kind of thing, you know. Sure. A little introduction. I'm uh, I'm Michael Thorne. Uh, I live uh, about uh, 35 minutes east of the ridiculously amazing city of Vancouver, British Columbia, and uh, I've been an agent for 25 years, and uh, I've got uh, an amazing wife and two awesome kids. My my boy had a hockey game last night and he scored his first goal of the season, and I missed it. <laughs> Been a top shelf last night, and uh, that's that's who I am. Thanks, Jesse. What up? The social savvy. What up? You yeah, get one of those hats someday. Seriously, <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna start a, a little Shopify site. You should, no, you should get the swag going. That's all right. That's right. So who are you? Um, they, they, they don't know. Yeah, I'm you Jesse might Peters. You probably do know me. Okay, <laughs> but the, for those of you watching. <laughs> Out in social savvy land, Facebook world, uh, I'm Jesse. A lot of you see me every day in your sales deck, which I just found out. I'm the father of Harper. You, she's also in your, uh, she's a micro she's celebrity. I was telling her. She's yes. very popular. She's almost five years old now. So someone was asking. So it's, uh, uh, what's my world? What's You've got world? another kid too. Yeah, but he's he's a <laughs> just he's so on camera different. It doesn't matter that much. Sorry, Sawyer. I am releasing him to you now. Uh, sorry, Sawyer. Social savvy Sawyer, 2.0. He's two and a half years old. I'll send videos for, Sawyer. Your, for, your, for your next deck. He will be involved. Uh, just kidding. Um, I'm, I live in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, and for a lot of you, uh, you don't even know where that is. So I'm going to give you a little bit of like a placement. It is the middle Geography. of North America, right? right? Minnesota, you, eight hours northwest of Minneapolis. Seven hour drive. It's warm, warm place. Three hours straight north from Fargo. Two hours north of Grand Forks, just above the U.S. Canada border. Uh, I've been in real estate for just over five years. What? Yep. And uh, are, you, are, you, are you allowed to do your own what? <laughs> I know. Are you allowed to do your well, own what? Hashtag next level. <laughs> Best. Now, this is going to be fun on Facebook, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so real quick, if you are on Facebook and you'd like to ask questions of these two characters, uh, we'd love to take those and we'll be kind of asking those at the end as we collect them from you. Um, you know, these guys are important to BombBomb, Bomb, have been important to BombBomb Bomb for a long time. We've used them a lot when we're building products for our users, when we're using them as examples in sales decks to show the problem that BombBomb Bomb solves. And I think what's unique about both of them is that they're actually producing agents yeah. and that they've been agents for a very long time. Or Well, Michael has Jesse a re fifth more recently. Of the time Right, um, uh, team, team. Just, just uh, growing into a team. I, there's now three of us, and you're a part of a team. Yes, right. So yeah, that dynamic. And and we have a d different dynamic, unlike a lot of the teams that are have sort of a realtor at the top, Explain. like Jesse has, yeah. uh, and then builds a out at the top. Uh, no, but yeah, an agent. Oh, I see. Yeah, an, an agent, agent yeah, that yeah, builds yeah. out a buyer agent and sort of builds out their team. Uh, I started a partnership with an agent, uh, uh, Jordan Maisie, back in about 98, 97, 98, uh, and it was just a 50-50 partnership, the two of us. And I was we, in grade 12 then. And, and, we, and we were there to sort of <laughs> spell each other off and help each other, and, and, and her, her strengths complement my weaknesses. And, um, and then uh, Trish, uh, Jordan's daughter, by the way, uh, came along and joined us about eight years ago. And we're a 33-33-33 team. Like, we don't have that regular dynamic. Um, you work to brand together. Yeah, we work everything together. And, and it's, it's different, but it, they're, they're amazing partners to, to, to yeah. have. And, um, and, yeah. and they're awesome. Partners are good things. Yes. They are. And I think, you know, I think partners on different levels, you have to find the type of partnership that works for your setup, myself, like... Hey, what's your setup like? My setup, I've been a solo agent for about four and a half years, four, just over four years. Then I brought in an unlicensed assistant, and we were talking about this yesterday. An unlicensed assistant is someone who can't write real estate contracts. 
they can do everything else for you. Can they do showings? In. No. Uh, no, they can't do any of that, but they can prepare your market analysis. They can do all your stats. They can do, you know, chasing down the paperwork. So Jada, she's been part of the team for a year, and that that's really important to get someone behind the scenes that can lay the foundation. And then I now have a partner. His name's Addison. He's 26 years old, fresh out of the gate. Known him for 15 years. He, you may have seen him in some of the videos that are now being released. Uh, he's social savvy 2.0, and. Uh, we're, we call each other partners, but he specializes in home buyers and mm -hmm. kind of, I we don't call him the buyer you specialist, handle the listings. I handle the listings, but he knows how to do everything that I, that I can do. So when I'm here, if something comes up. So you can, can be in Colorado that. Springs with us. Yes. That, that's the beauty of idea. having, I've been in that position to have that now and I'm very thankful of that. So, so how's, you know, I always like to ask this question, you know, we talk to a lot of different agents around the country. How's How's business in Vancouver? How's business in uh, Winnipeg? One of the craziest real estate markets in the world. Why? Normally. Uh, well, it's Vancouver. It's a world-class city now. Um, and Best food. Yeah, great, great, great city. Um, and so we have a lot of people um, throughout Canada that migrate there. Uh, but we're also extremely isolated. Unlike most cities in North America, we have the, uh, the Pacific Ocean to the west of us, the uh, North Shore Mountains to the north of us, like that, where we can't sort of build. And then we have the U.S. border to the south of us. So we are a city with little land to sort of build around. Where, you, where I was in the plane from Denver to Colorado Springs last night, and it's just like land. We don't have that. So we, we're starting to really have to go this way. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's just an issue of supply and demand. Um, the real estate industry has been phenomenal throughout North America for about eight years now. Um, and, and we've seen ridiculous growth. Uh, average sale price go from 500000 uh, for a family home where I am to a million dollars in about three years. So um, it's, it's, it's crazy. In three years? Yeah. And, how, and so, and Jesse, is that, that's what you're doing? And it's, oh, not yeah, healthy. Hey. it's not good. <laughs> so, I work on the island of the prairies. It's an eight hour drive to anything that's above 100 feet in the air. Um, <laughs> like I could see the her, the sun setting. Like, Same home values, probably. Yeah, you know, as the west coast of Canada. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The only similarities is like maybe the square footage, but you know, in terms of price point, our market in the Winnipeg area, and it's and it you can't lump us in with Canada. Vancouver has its own market, sure. right? Toronto, yeah, Toronto has its own market. The GTA? The, 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 G, the six, right? Mm -hmm. That's what they're calling it these days. And then uh, like Calgary, uh, parts of Alberta has its own market uh, influenced by the oil industry, which is going, right? So yeah, that affects right. home, right? We're really kind of, yeah, uh, your own when we market. When we come down and we, we talk in the U.S. and in other areas, we kind of get all lumped together, and that's that's not the case. We're, we're probably more of a balanced market, which is pretty amazing in in the real estate world. And sellers will say, well, why is that amazing? I'm not getting $40,000 over. Well, you're going to the A. But you're you're going to have to buy you're something to be a buyer. $40,000 yeah, over, you're right? You're about to be a buyer. You've got multiple offers where people are paying $200,000 over price. Wow. That's, that's, we're getting at like 97, 98% of asking price, which is great. It's great. Right? That's and great. it's healthy. Yeah. And, and so that's kind of the world that I'm in. And so, so last night we talked about, you know, you've both been, you've been at it a short time, but successful. And you've been at it for 25 years. And if you, you're at anything for 25 years consistently, that's, that's very good success wise. So, you know, you and I, Jesse, talked a little bit last night about playing seeds and working and working. And, yeah. and I know Michael's done the same thing. But share a little bit about that, how you've used video over the past five years in, in hustled, planted seeds, and then what happens in the return of that. It just keeps yielding fruit, is what totally. you were saying last time. Don't yep. try to put words in your mouth. But kind of talk to that a little bit and what video strategies that you were working on to build that business, and, that, and I'd like to do the same with Michael. Sure. What video strategies that have you been using, using? I mean, obviously, 25 years, there was a pre-video, and then it happened, and then now it's happening all the time. So we'll start with you on, on that. Yep. So how has video and been? There's a lot, we have a lot of similarities in our, in our answers, but it's, it's 
I've only ever known video in my real estate business. Uh, and I come yeah. from a marketing and advertising background, right? So it's kind of like, ooh, how am I going to be entering a market going up against guys who've been in the business for 20 years, where A, I don't have the budget to do traditional style of advertising. Mm -hmm. B, my brain never wrapped around that because that's kind of the part of the world that I came from, right? When a Yellow Pages phone book was this big and I left when it was this big and now it's like a sliver. Flyer. Right? You know, yeah. like that. So, so the value of video on a lot of different levels, and I think this is really where it hits home when you can build in a sales cycle of farming, right? Planting seeds, when's harvest, what's the next crop? I'm now at the stage where what I'm doing now, planting seeds now, for harvest and winter, for har you know, and then winter is planting seeds for spring. Always working a, a quarter ahead now because everything I've done for the la the previous quarter we're now we're now harvesting it and we're bringing in and video is allowing us to do that because you know harvest is listing videos right but planting seeds is one to one emails hey it's your birthday hey here's what's coming up hey I'm with Remax One Group now hey you know here's Q and A's delivering video on social here's stuff I know about my neighborhood here's here's the local events here's my daughter and my son here's this and utilizing video to, to stay top of mind in so many different ways to build no liking trust so that when harvest time comes I'm top of mind for when they say hey I need help get my home on or off the market right and so and staying in front of your staying past in clients. front of them all and staying in front of past clients is how are you doing here's some extra information the value of prompt is allowing a lot it, it's giving the push to do that here's some talking hey, bomb bomb product provided by, by, by <laughs> prompt right by bomb bomb by you guys but you know what like it, it, it just have you heard of it and so we're talking or we're talking to the facebook group and and the way video is now we're, we're taking it in in so many different ways there's such opportunity when you realize that that's how everyone's consuming it to be in front of them and that and that's staying relevant even when the buying a house is a seven year cycle there's so many right. other different ways because just because they're not going to buy something in seven years they're going to know 20 other people who Are need to know to somebody life. exactly yeah right so that's how, how I utilize. you talked about you 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 were doing like a local business video like one a week yeah oh and yeah I had back a, when you first started it was 2014 like hustling and, yeah. and Where'd you get the idea from, Jesse Peters? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. The 25 years. Inspired the 20 years, yeah. by. I didn't know if Jesse was stalking me on YouTube and goes, oh, I'm doing that. Well, yeah, it was, it was a lot. There were mountains that divided us. How good did you guys meet? How did you guys meet? Okay, so. Was it, did we make this relationship? No, a no, bit? no. No, no, actually, you did. So, Valerie Garcia, anyone know Valerie Garcia? She's amazing yes. coach uh, in the real estate industry. She's ridiculous. I have this thing where my, my local presence in my community has always been fairly high. Well, this but, is a good segue. Yeah, yeah but, I, but I, was, I was kind of thrust a little bit into like the real estate speaking world very quickly as I moved from one brand to Remax. And since I've been with Remax, it's changed my life. And I was on stage right away and I was speaking and doing all this sort of stuff. And, and, and that's kind of overwhelming. And all of a sudden, you're out of all these conferences and you're meeting all these people. And so on a regular basis, I would call up Valerie Garcia and I would say, Hey Valerie, do we like so and so? Like she was like a person that I trusted. Like I think I really like this person. Do I like this person? And she says, Yeah, we like this person. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, no. so yeah. one day the phone rings and it's Valerie and she one says, of those lifelines. She we, says, we like Hey Michael, do you know who? Do you know Jesse Peters? And I go, No, I don't know who Jesse Peters is. So go, she goes, Oh, you got to meet Jesse Peters. And I go, Really? I got to meet Jesse Peters? I think we were talking like within a day or so, and we probably speak. In the last five years, there's probably been less than a hundred days that gone by total where we haven't spoken. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he's like a brother to me now, and it's all Valerie Garcia's fault. Thanks but for let's dive deeper back here because knowing I want to get into video right off the hop, you start, you jump on the YouTube, you jump on the Google, you're looking for realtors who are doing things that can inspire you. It was like, what it, like, it was like my pin, I was trying to find my Pinterest board of inspirations before <laughs> Pinterest came around, right? We know what we're talking about. I was trying to create this video board of things that were cool and that, that I could wrap my brain around. And I came across Michael uh, when he was doing 
his 30 favorite places in 30 days, uh, wow. North Langley. Who's seen his 30 favorite places or like heard of it, you know, really when you want to dive into showcasing your neighborhoods, which is such a huge thing when you want to go beyond listening. You want to be the neighborhood expert. Exactly. Like your social this. mayor, right? And so Michael and uh, his buddy, um, Tyler, Tyler uh, shot 30 videos talking about all the cool things in their neighborhood and they released one a day. I'm like, I can do that. Right? Little did I know they shot 30 places in two days and then re-release, then <laughs> schedule and release them. Yeah, I did. You, you did I did it legit. Day. And, and as I saw him do it, I'm like, okay, I gotta do this. I gotta do some work. 30 videos, 30 days, and I was like, I thought about canning them, you know, having them all stacked up. I'm like, no, but what if it's rainy out and I'm shooting something in the rain and it goes out on a sunny day, it's gonna be like false. And so I did 30 videos in, and it was funny. Michael had this page called My North Langley, and I developed My Southwest Winnipeg, right? <laughs> Southwest Winnipeg doesn't even exist. Hey, it was like flattering, right? Flattering. And, but neither did North Langley. How much time do we have, Darren? <laughs> okay, because because this uh, I, 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 I'll take you another funny funny story about Jesse Peters. So a guy that uh, like I'm like I'm trying to compliment you. Yeah, right? no, no, like, no, 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 no. I appreciate it. So I take uh, what was it called before it was called prompt before the what was the education called the bomb bomb? Oh, convert. Oh yeah. Convert. Actually, convert. I take convert and I get the idea that oh my goodness we're doing coming soon campaigns which we still do by the way I launched a bomb bomb coming soon campaign at midnight last night. And we already got more leads than we know what to do with, and we're not, we don't even generate leads. Okay, but, but anyway, I'm so, writing so, that down. We'll come so back to I, that. We do this. <laughs> we do this uh, Sellers market. We do this monthly market update where we like tell people in North Langley what's happening, and then and then at the end you get call to action to fill out uh, a bomb bomb form, and you get an automatic email. You get an automatic email that says, "Hey, we're gonna do this your is a CMA, good story. We're gonna do your CMA, and we're on it. It's real personal. It's me, right? So not only do you see me on YouTube, but then they get a bomb bomb of me." And so all you needed is your your name, your address, uh, number of bedrooms, square footage, that sort of stuff. And what I would do is what we still do is we go by the house, or we try to get a Google photograph of the house, and then we make this little awesome little CMA up, and we send it out to you. It converts really, really well. So I get this I get this CMA request for Jesse, and the address is like two one five three six ninety three A Avenue, and I so I go. I go, I go down to that road to try to find this house so I can get a photo of it, and I can't find the address. I can't find the address anywhere. So I send this Jesse guy, a, a, you know, hey Jesse, I'm trying to do your CMA for you, but without an address, you know, it's hard to do, and can you make sure you got the right address? Never heard from the guy again. A year and a half later, over like a beer or a coffee, he confesses that he's Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> that was stalking. Oh, wow. And I was like, and form. you knew the whole time. And I knew yeah. the whole time, because I went on Google Maps, and I'm like, that looks like townhouses. Let's try to figure out that address. And it wasn't like, I guess I was off by a couple numbers. The number never existed. But instead of just saying, hey, I, I see what I'm you're doing. I wanted the response. I wanted the reply. I wanted, I wanted the template that. to see what he was doing. So there, okay, so now we got a 30 by 30. I'm we had this week. I'm seeing like, this. Come and then the come. last thing. And I was a bomb bomb user. And I think it was... Might have been Steve or Ethan that were talking about, hey, join us for a webinar. We got Michael Thorne on, right? And I remember sitting in my office and, and talking about how easy it was to use it on mobile and, and whatnot. And if you put your email address in, you were going to get a, res a video response right. from Michael yeah. Thorne, yeah. who was sitting in his backyard at the time. I'm like, okay, cool. And then I heard him say he's with Remax Little Oak. And so... My brother-in-law is a realtor at Remax Little Oak, oh. right? And they're from the same area, right? And so right off the, I'm like, hey, you Should know my brother-in-law, blah, 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 And that was, and you may not even you remember. You could have it, but that address, like, maybe. I probably should have done his house. The same, you could have <laughs> just used that. But. but it was like on three levels, kind of creeping in before. And that that's kind of, we're going to come up in these conversations, right? We, four years ago, we were in a world where we didn't, a video wasn't prominent. And mm -hmm. we had to learn this on our own, yep. and then being being connected, like-minded, passionate, sharing, we're kind of cut from the same cloth, so that's and good. Then, boom, right? That's like a segue, that's let's, let's talk about some of those tactics that you've been doing for five years, 25, or, so let's, let's talk about you. You talked about coming soon, so. Yeah, yeah. What tactics have you been using, though? What, how has video helped the business? Oh my god, like, in, I, in I, I, hope, I hope that the vast majority of my videos don't get any more than five views. 
Because that meant, that means that video was meant for somebody. Personal. Yeah. So personal, but this is a big, you know, I, I mean, offer a lot of people though, this difference between, we already getting a question, we, we already got a question in from Facebook and it was, and I think you can tie it into this. Sure. Why bomb bomb over Facebook Live? Oh, it, but what you're saying, it's language, <clears throat> right? Yep. So when you're able to change the way that you speak to the person on the other side, there's, there's, it, it means a whole lot more. It's, but our industry, and in this example, and you're going to hear me talk about it uh, tomorrow, is our industry is full of what is just vanilla marketing. It's like vanilla is like every restaurant you go into offers vanilla because it's not that it's amazing, it's just liked enough by enough people that it's one of the three flavors that they have. But it's not butternut crunch or you know cherry Garcia that you really love because they, they want a broad appeal. But the moment that you're able to sort of change that language and speak to someone, mention their kid's name or reference, you know, it's just like, look at the text message. Look at the text message that you send your brother compared to your wife compared to your mother. I mean, it's, that's the language. And that cuts through all the noise of everything that we're doing trying to appeal to everybody. And, and, and Facebook Live is a, is a more mass audience kind of play. Sure, they, they, they versus, obviously, they're obviously there's a, know there's a way for that. But it can be, it purpose. doesn't have to be, and that's the great thing about yeah. Facebook Live, because you can pick your audience, right? Like, yeah. you can pick who that is going out to, but I, probably that question in general is like, why not just, just a blanket, a like, why not a broadcast? Why not blanket your entire city, right? But the value is, sometimes all you need is the one where that message resonates <laughs> with Building the relationship. If I knew who right? one of the people on were on the Facebook Live and I said, oh, and by the way, Joan, stay on because I'm going to tell a great story about when we first met. Joan, stay. I got her. She's going to stay around to the end of the Facebook Live. And that's just basically what Bomb Bomb allows me to do. When I first started in this business, I couldn't grow a mustache. I was 19 years old. I was up against veterans and my still only option. <laughs> yes, yeah, still can. My only options of marketing was uh, open houses, cold calling, door knocking, and then big ad spends in the newspaper. Well, I didn't have the budget for great ad spends and all the other agents were doing the same thing. Because I looked as young as I was, I started as a, a personal assistant when I was 15 years old to get to know the business. So that when I hit the ground running at 19, I knew what I was talking about. And I had this philosophy. If I could just have you sit down in front of me long enough that you let me open my mouth and you could hear that I knew what I was talking about, mm. I had you. Because I knew what I was talking about. I knew that I could, I could articulate the fact that I was going to take care of you and that I was... And that's okay. all sending a bomb bomb in. And so then when Bill comes around, you go, oh my gosh. Oh. It's, this is a megaphone for doing The question it. isn't, if you were to do it all over again, how would you do it differently? I wouldn't. There's nothing I could do differently. If the question is, if you could start all over again and it's 2014, what would you do differently? I would do what Jesse did. Uh -huh. I would look around and go, why isn't other people doing this? Every single time I look over at Connor, I think he's got his hand raised and he's asking a question. Over it's actually a cardboard cutout. Cut cut I'm like, out of the sandwich out. down. <laughs> but, Looks but, like a, no, that's an award. That's but this an is, award. Sandwich this is what I would I do. Jimmy John in his hand. Jesse will tell you one of the main reasons why he's hired an assistant is so that he can keep doing the things that actually mm, matter. That's and that's video. It's not saying, like, if there's one thing I could do, I would. Everything I would also I'd give away before I gave up the video camera. We hear this a lot that I did it and now I'm not, right? Because I got too busy, but you've kept doing it. I think that's interesting. People well, we, stop. Yeah. And so, you know, they create this business for themselves because you hustle, hustle, hustle. Yeah. You do the videos, you do the right thing. Then, it's, then I'm so busy, I'm not doing the fundamental thing that I got me. I don't understand there. it. Right. You have time to type an email response to your client, but you have time to do something that takes three times less time and has way more impactful. It's all these garbage excuses. It's all these, my hair isn't perfect. Here's the thing Sales about it. If you, go, if, you go, <laughs> if you go back and look at his video with Harper that's in all your stack or your sales pitch, there is absolutely nothing special about his on-camera persona. It's just a guy talking to one guy. You're not over the top. I'm pretty special, though. <laughs> It's I not, knew I should have sat in the middle. It's not how I wanted to sit in the middle. It's not how he said it. It's the fact that he was relatable because Harper was in the video. It was relatable because he was wearing a ball cap. It was relatable because he was giving a message to one person. That's the only reason. You don't have to be as animated as Jesse is or I is for it to be important. If you're the boring stats guy, 
all in boring stats guy. Like be in that moment. And I think more yes. than any of the other huge culture shift that we're living through is no longer do we have to be the nine to five Jesse Peters and then be a home, a family man when you get home. Now there's some sort of acceptable, go into my bomb bomb account. You don't know how many bomb bombs I send from my phone at 6.30 a.m. at hockey practice with me with my cup down. Like I'm there for an hour with my kids on the ice and I think it's neat that I get to say, hey, I'm at practice at 6.30 a.m. with my son. You become relatable. You relatable. become just like them. But the right? hair perfect, the lighting audience, on, right? the makeup, everything. Is that really relatable? Is that really relatable? I, 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 I argue that we get in our way of ourselves so awesome. And, and the thing is, time. you need to flip flip on on it. Is like we've all hey, we've got an opportunity to meet a lead to get their listing or to to get you know be their buyer agent, and we've never met them before. We've never met them in person, and you're more than willing to drive half an hour to a coffee shop to get five minutes oh, to sit in yeah. front of them, and you've never seen them before. That's Have you ever stopped? Getting out of the car because your hair wasn't on point, or your jacket now got wrinkled, or you're feeling bloated, or all of a sudden you have. <laughs> that was you the last all night, actually. Oh, I was so bloated. Dude, after yeah, was like, he did say. Well, I said when I got to the hotel, I'm like, you want to eat? He goes, no. All I got was a brisket grilled cheese sandwich, dude. Uh, it was yeah. amazing. Sorry. And the guy that smoked. You guys are getting to it. But, the, but the thing is here, there, there should be. Right, we we chase like the industry chases leads, right? We want mm -hmm. to get in front of people, right? But there's a way where we can get in front of the cat. If you can get rid of like how you look to chase a cold lead in front, you, that doesn't hold you back from chasing a cold lead. So why should it hold you back from getting in front of a camera and talking to your warm leads or your sphere already? And the moment you can do that and just utilize that piece of technology that gets you face to face. Because all they want is our knowledge and our expertise. They don't give a shit what is on point or what isn't. Okay? They don't. They just want the knowledge they want to be engaged with. And you guys just right, think like, the point on this is that a lot of times we hear like video isn't scalable. Oh. I, right? I can't scale it. No, we work a lot towards making sure it's it's speed to video. Yeah. That we, we we want it to be easy for you. That's why we have a yeah. Chrome extension. We might want to get one click, record a video, send, like the quickest way to send video. So talk to that though. You've been talking about the scalability of it and is in one to one, but what about even sending them to a larger audience? What if you want to go, what, how are you distributing maybe on social media to um, the, the neighborhood videos that you're creating or a, you go into a coffee shop and create a video for a local business so owner? So that's the big win when it comes to video is this, I must have said GoPro or start, GoPro turn off. Faster. Oh. Uh, anyway, um, uh, is is everybody out there has an audience in a 2017 world? Either that audience is on Instagram or that audience is on Facebook. Every coffee shop, muffler shop has an audience. And so when you're able to take a moment and take the sh stop shining the light on you and shine the light on someone else. Mm -hmm. Your ability to share Create that goes for the roof because the first thing do. they do, they share. They're not going to do it. They share it. And here's the thing. You like the Watershed Arts Cafe Facebook page. And by the way, if you're ever in North Island, the Watershed Arts Cafe is amazing. Good sandwiches there. Oh, great. So, so, that, so, so they've got a Facebook, and you like their Facebook page for a reason. You like who they are. If they share a video that I recorded and that has a bit of my branding in it, that's not overtly over your head, this is the math that's done. I like the Watershed Arts Cafe. The Watershed Art Cafe likes Michael. I like Michael. That's mm -hmm. the math that is done. And so when we did Valerie our Garcia likes Jesse Peters. <laughs> we like Valerie Garcia. I like, I like Jesse. Like Jesse Peters. Yes. And so we get it. Right? This existing I, this existing audience that's out there to tell the story about the community that exists. Because you can say a lot of things about our consumers. Our consumers care about a lot of different things. The one thing that is universal for most homeowners is they care about the community because whether they love their community or it's for the self interest of the value of the property, but they care about the schools and the streets and the parks and the coffee shops and the restaurants and all that stuff they care tell that story that's becoming larger than the real estate transaction and a video allows you to do build that know like and trust when I first did my first video series 30 videos in 30 days on day number five and I'll tell the story I've told the story many times is on day five my wife we were in the grocery store my wife says this is it last day I ever shop with you I'm out and 
because video had people stopping because they recognized me. But I had done flyers and bus bench ads with my photo on it before, but it was instantly something different where they felt they could stop and Did have a Did you see your bus bench? Yeah. Oh my and god! Way, guys, you it's totally amazing! <laughs> what you must have hired... It's hard. It's hard, real. I must have hired... Oh, you must have hired a video team to follow you. 30 videos in 30 days, shot with my iPhone. Three. Three. My iPhone right iPhone no, my iPhone 4. Oh, because he has a 5. I have a 5. One. I'm not going bigger until that 10 comes oh, out. So you, it, hold on! You didn't have a film crew. Didn't you have a film used crew. your phone. You interviewed... Uh, local businesses. Didn't even do that. I stood outside the local business and said, on day number four of my favorite places in North Langley, the Watershed Arts Cafe. Jen is amazing. They make everything from scratch. And for sure, you got to try the avocado toast. It's freaking ridiculous. We'll see you tomorrow for the best of my 30 favorites. In three and days. so that was on your Social Facebook Social. page. Yeah. And it was on, YouTube. and they said, could we put that? I in? tagged it. The first person that shares it is them. It's them. Yeah. And so the big thing is, right, it, it's that audience of sharing. Now they share, now they share, now they share, right? And then all of a sudden, they feel like they owe you something because you helped them totally. be seen. But here's the other thing that I love is by doing these things, putting yourself as that person who has the audience, who has the wherewithal, who has the camera comfort to, to showcase other people, right? But they, they start to learn something about you, right? Oh, he really likes being at the rink. He really likes donuts. His he children. really likes his children, <laughs> right? But all of a sudden now, you're, be, you're becoming relatable, right? Realtors, we all have access to the same stats and data now. And that's, ultimately, you're a salesperson, right? and the salespeople were just like, I don't know. I, you know, we got our defenses up. We, were trying to, we think you're trying to sell us something. Yeah. No. So this makes you more relatable. It strips it down, right? It down. That's exactly it. We want to work with people we can relate with, right? There's a thousand top producers, right? We're all going to give you the same price range on a house, right? But I'm choosing someone if I know, like, and trust them. They're Winnipeg Jets fans. They have kids my same age. They get it. They my sell this amount. Boom. Exactly. And, and wait, right? you're, that's what. That's how we're choosing enjoyable, business now. And more enjoyable world. working with those people. Exactly. Like, right? I, like, like, we do board, business now. Board stats clients don't want to work anymore. with me. They don't. Yeah. Board stats right. clients don't. You can't handle I this. I don't want to work with them. Right. We're not I don't want to work with them. Right. But that's what video allows it to do as well. Filters. It also says, that's Jesse. I love that energy, or I don't. Right? right? And now I'm not trying to convince someone who doesn't like you know this energy. You're going to get here. Yeah. Right? And so now I'm not sitting down at the kitchen table with them saying, here's what I'm, I'm all about. Back. Here's the number. Right? Like, no, this yeah. is what they're expecting. We all and Google something before we're we We're diving into it. their yeah. topic, what's important for them, their journey, their transition. They need to see what's going on. It's already done. And what's actually surprising is like, uh, apparently, I don't come off as like this when we're sitting one to one. Oh, and some some people actually find that a little bit like, oh, that's kind of nice. I'm like this when I sell your house, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's what you want. But that, but that's yeah. that's part of the marketing game plan, right? And but we don't we don't. It's less convincing, and the business has been easier for me. And it and it's really interesting to see it happen in in this short a time for me to to do the amount of business and like. Uh, the one time I'll talk about where I'm at, you know, like I'm a Hall of Fame Remaxer in four years, top 2%, platinum four times. I've been five years in the business. So those are stats that you get after 15 plus years in the business, right? So to be able to do this, it's a video is a major part of that formula. Knowing your stuff is a major part of that, for, right? That adds up. But by having that, I firmly believe that has put me on the trajectory to succeed early. So if well, you're going to do it over to 2014, say, Jesse, this is what I say. What do you say to the person that's going to say right now, they're thinking right now, um, yeah, man, but you're like over the top, and Michael, you're really gregarious. Like, uh, I can't do that. Okay, you so, can. So, so here's the thing. What, what are you saying? Yeah, no, no, here's it. I'll show you. It's, it's part of our video boot camps. It's, it's in the video that I just said, Steve. I will show you Jesse Peters' first video he put online, and I'll show you my video first video I put online. Confidence, practice builds confidence. It's, and it's an analogy I use. They're, sit back and read a book about skiing and then go out and knock out a double black diamond. <laughs> ain't ain't going to happen. Right. Bunny yeah. Hill, fall down, then Bro, you move you on. Don't jump into a book double. at yeah. chapter 20. This you is Jesse, chapter this one is one Jesse Peters' first video. Hi, it's Jesse Peters, and here's the things you need to know about buying. How, I swear to you, that's what it is. I was recording on an iPad. It really kind of came <laughs> <laughs> But it 
doesn't happen. Look, yeah. that's how it came across. But it though, does right? take time. No, it, it it for sure does. I that was my chapter uh, one. It's a good thing but I had, between us. But yeah. I had a vision and a game plan. Say, hey, here's where it's at. And guess what? If nobody's doing it in your market, that's perfect. There's nothing else to go to. Absolutely. And now I've been doing this for four years and other people are doing listing videos and we said, I get people saying, someone's trying to call, they're doing a Jesse Peters but, video. But, they're doing a social savvy video. And I'm like, that's okay because they all have their personalities and audience right. that they draw to. But at the time, no one else was doing it. And so now they're doing a Jesseism. Yeah. So, 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 so you sit down, you sit down at the listing table and you're competing against four other agents. Yeah. You leave that place, you get in your car, you drive 10 minutes down the road, which I do all the time. Talk about the amazing skill set of acting that it takes to, hey, Tom and Mary, it was great sitting down with you tonight and going through the listing presentation. It was cool to meet your dog, Oscar, make it personal. Right. Um, really looking forward. I hope that you know, I'm a good fit for you. And uh, if you have any questions between now and the time that you make a decision, please don't hesitate to get in touch. We'll talk to you soon. There's no acting about that. Yeah. No other agent is stopping to do that. It's and I don't, it's human beings talking, talking to, to each other beings. about whom they are. And we are. need more of that. Absolutely. Because guess what? My, bis my business was built at the kitchen table. Right. Face to face. So it's the reason why Jess yeah, and I every, flew down here to spend the day with all these people. We could have done all this over Zoom. I get more down sitting down across the table from JB because we're looking each other in the eye. It's human nature. Just do that. That's not a that's not a tech skill set. There's no technology. It's just wrapping your mind around that this is the device that now replaces sitting down in the kitchen right. into here, and we could do this anywhere in the world now. Right? You're just utilizing. We're not taking away belly to belly, face to face. And there's just a piece of technology that's getting it there now. I have another good segue here. So we're getting some questions from Facebook, and if, if you want to ask more questions, please do. One that just came in was, um, "How are you getting these questions?" From Steve Pastinelli, he's texting them to me. Oh, <laughs> he's an earpiece, dude. <laughs> so um, I was like. <laughs> when do you use video and not text? So text email, text on our phone. When do you decide this is a video, not a text okay. email? When my gut says I should deliver this news like so that face they can to see face. face to face or like tone is going to be. You literally never use text. No, no, He'll no. send me a voice message. Yeah. That, so so here yeah, so not, here are the, all never, the apps. Ever. Here's all the apps you can choose from. This one says messaging, this one says bomb bomb, this one says uh, mail, email, this one says phone. So what I do is I, I take my finger, instead of clicking here, what I do this, I click there, and I send a bomb bomb. I, just, I, I don't understand the big... So I, I ask myself, hey listen, if, if, if I'm confirming a showing, hey, can I show 86A Avenue at four? Yep, text message, right? Not a bomb bomb. So just ex before I make this yeah. communication. You don't want to do that in a video. Yes! Yes. You need to oh, see my tone. That would yeah. be awesome. You're not excited um, about showing it? Yeah. We're in. Before yes. I send a communication, I simply ask myself, would this be more effective if Did I just say that? with a video? I know. I just said that. You just like, no, but that's what my point is. But that's, but that's the universal answer for everyone. We got other questions. Why would you do something? Why would you do something that Bomb Bomb has let you do as efficiently as all your other communications that's less effective? I don't understand why you would do something knowingly it's less effective. Maybe that's the issue. They don't know it's more less effective. Well, habits it's are less hard to break. effective. To Wait, communicate let's, in that way. Let's distill it down. What do you think? I mean, because you, again, you're you're advanced. I'm, you know, I, I don't think it's crazy, but you're advanced. So, what are the most valuable times? If, if you can, you, you can't live if you these times you absolutely have to send a video and not a text. Do you want to go first? What are your and top I won't three? Copy yours? Top three, Jesse. <laughs> you have to send a video, not a text. So. Uh, off the hop, like I get a lot of referral business. Let me use that off the hop. I'm gonna start right? using that. Yeah, <laughs> off the hop. Just bam. Sorry, okay. I should uh, that to you. A lot of referral business in terms of, hey, someone's told me that I, I'm moving right. to Winnipeg, and so I'm hitting them up with a bomb bomb. Hey, just face to the name. Here's what I am. Here's what so you're gonna expect. Comes in. Absolutely, that is oh, not going to be a text, email, or yeah. text. No. That's going to be Jesse's face, okay? It's going to be my face. Give me one more. Um, one more would be, um, lately I, we've been using it because I've been on the road a bit, um, video instructions. 
hey, here's the offer. I'm gonna walk you through where you need to sign because mm -hmm. I can't be there with you in person. We're not allowed DocuSign or Doc, we have no e-signatures yet in our world. Not Canada, so don't we, let him paint a brush with we him. We have to. We're advanced, yeah, we have our internet board hasn't everything. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. specific. Michael, give me two. It's just got to be a video and not a text or a text email. I left out a couple here for you, like the easy ones. Like. Good, new, good news, bad news. Exactly! Yeah. Uh, That's what I would think. Real estate, yeah. real estate is a really, really, good really news, news emotional yeah. process. It's really emotional. You're moving for the best of reasons, super emotional. You're moving for the worst of reasons, super emotional. And there is, like, I prefer to give really bad news to my client through bomb bomb. So when I'm over the phone, though. Oh my, okay, yeah. well, for okay. what, yeah, tee off no, no, that, no, but, yeah. that's a good question. So, I'm a, lot of, hearing, you know, I'm a lot of times, a lot of times the bad news, shouldn't I say a lot of times, bad news happens throughout the day in real estate, it happens, and, and Tom's at work and Mary's at work, Yep. and I want to let them know, hey, so sorry we didn't get that property, opposed to, hey guys, I'm so sorry we didn't that's get it. that property, yeah. like we worked our butt off, we did the best we possibly could, things didn't fall our way. So you can play phone tag with them at work, Oh, back yeah. and forth, back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Or you can send one, uh, one video time, to Tom and Mary to let them know. But there's also something happen. about seeing sympathy or oh, empathy, empathy in your in eyes your and you can't give it off. Why? Because we're human beings or is that why? <laughs> well, I, it's one, this, this is, this is, this is. Maybe this, I should have No, no, this. but I love, I love this, I love this fad of video. This idea. The, the reason why videos oh, right, appear right. to be a fad now is because it's for the first time, thankfully, for customers or companies like you, accessible to us in, in, in a cost effective manner. But fad of videos like saying talking face to face is this new thing. Man. Like the face expressions, your voice inflections. You know, text messaging is, is new. The written word is new as far as, like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, all listen, that. Video. It, it, this warms my personal heart, which Connor, you know, it's his wife's birthday today, so he can make, but yeah. this is why we started this company. Yeah, Because totally. we just thought it sucked to get it sucked. text on, on major things happening. We, and that Ask yourself, ex like emojis are ever, ask yourself, why was the emoji invented? It was only to clarify. <laughs> Yeah, that looks oh. Emojis are a replacement for video. That's what it, not a replacement, or a hold been forward. Around. It's only been 20, 30 years, 40, you could, that email, oh, and all those yeah. technologies came in and replaced human beings talking more. Yeah. And I think now we call it a flight back to the face, a flight back to humanity, where we want to connect on a deeper level with human beings again, and we want to create a product that does that. So you you guys are like talking about the genesis of why we thought this would be and we'll do, and, and, we'll and do, utilizing technology allows it to do to, right. get, How do we make to that get that better? journey quicker yep. right because I think there's a mindset Speed in our industry it. when the average age is 60 plus in my world and all, everything had to be in that chair and in that chair but today's mindset is to say it's the same thing but technology is just helping you go when you can't be in chairs but you're in Japan and I'm in Switzerland and we're still being face to face through technology you and I know when person, you open it up exactly you can be in person you can still yeah. be in and, person and the amount of times when you give good news in a bomb bomb good news in a video and you see that they like watched it 12 times yeah. you know, that's embedding yeah. that relationship that DNA that this is my guy like we like our job is should once we've done a great bit uh, job for a client like we want we want them in that army we want them, like, you guys have clients of yours, and we're two of them that are in that bomb bomb army, right? And we're very... Fanboys. Like, like, yeah, we're valuable to you. <laughs> well, as real estate agents, we want people to feel about us the way we feel about you guys. That's, mm -hmm. like, so valuable. So when they're building that relationship and that emotion, and that guy was with me, and that connection gets deeper and deeper and deeper, it's all about relationships. It's... Yeah, well... I'm, I'm a fanboy too, obviously. Yes. So, yeah. you know, it's just good to hear. It's good to hear that come through. You know, we're trying to always make something that helps people draw closer to each other, not more farther away. And so, hearing this back is always a good. Oh, good and, and, the, and the great thing too is you've provided that that I'll, I shouldn't call it a gateway drug, uh, but like, <laughs> but I just did. Okay, this is we're the getting US. the video. This but, is the US. <laughs> but 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 now providing. Here's the analysis of how many times that video has been opened. Here's what's been yeah. clicked. Here's like everything behind the engagement it. That behind made, the it. engagement behind yeah. it that you're allowing to do that you didn't have do. before. Exactly. Yeah. It's not just a widget that was just there to give the video. It's the value is in all the other information behind it.
Yeah. So, so we gotta, we're going to start wrapping it up. I want to make sure what? we talked about I know. It, it, guys, with you guys. Like, they have, they, this guy pays these guys to do something. An hour and a half. got to get back to work. No <laughs> one's moving, <laughs> Jerry. Very expensive. Nobody's me. tapping their toe and going, well. <laughs> My internal clock is ticking. <laughs> we just we just had a meeting with Michael Park, and, and I'll tell you a story. That's an expensive meeting. I left Michael Park's office. <laughs> I left Michael Park's office a year and a half ago with Ethan after we saw the 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 the, the new drop of the new app back the a year and a half ago. Yeah, for the power yeah. wheel. And, and yeah, the power wheel and all that sort of stuff. And I remember power saying, uh, Ethan and I were in the car up to a Garden of the Gods, and I said to Ethan, "Now that this is done and Michael's knocked it out of the park, like what is he going to do now?" <laughs> <laughs> like, you're, you're, bomb, bomb over and now it's prompt and all the other things and inbox and that's ridiculous you guys are amazing we can never have enough developers it no out. it's amazing yeah wow. another floor you guys Everything. always have ideas for us and what you want to build. I don't I, 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 I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's, he wants to tell us we're, we're gonna get there look I want to make sure we talk about two things yeah um we have a video influencers guide coming out towards the end of this month so look for it if you you, you can download it we're gonna push it out to everybody it's gonna be great you guys were both in it. You ranked very high. Go figure. But I'm gonna leave it up. You know, they didn't win, which kind of blew my mind. But hey, you know, I'm not the. I, I blew, you know, it what, blew don't, my mind when we, we yeah, we were. They're really, really close. So that's yeah. coming out. And then you guys are doing something called RE Video Studio. No, it's, we're doing something. We are doing something together. Yes. But it's you guys. I mean, they've been doing a video boot camp for a year. Yeah. Now. Oh, oh three, two, two, two and a half years. So, yeah. Let's well, so talk about RE Video Studio. Okay. Why you're doing it? What that's gonna mean to folks listening in? Mass. We're vlogging this right now because this is, we're we're about two weeks away from launch. Um, about two and a half years ago, uh, Jesse and I started a Facebook group called Remax Play, uh, and it's exclusively for Remax agents. Uh, we vet every single person that comes into it because we wanted to create culture, and it's there to have one conversation. We want to talk about real estate video. And we wanted to be a place where people that were on their chapter one or on their chapter 20 felt like they could share and get feedback and ask questions. So that what happened when Jesse and I met each other, we started moving forward faster together because we could bounce ideas off each other. Uh. And so we wanted to create this community where other people could like have inspiration and get ideas and, and sort of move through the chapters at a quicker pace and sort of jump those hurdles. And we now have, I don't know, 3,500 Remax agents inside this group. And, and Jesse and I started doing these video boot camps, and we started out doing them just for Remax agents, and then we started, you know, inviting other brands to there and starting networking with other people from other brands. You know, this this big thing that you should be looking outside your own community for inspiration, and we really relished becoming larger than just the Remax brand, which we we both love dearly, and so Jesse and I started to talk about what if, and then oh, yeah. yeah, and and I think, you know. One of my whys, and I know it's your why, and I know it's your why, is we want to raise, on a macro level, you know, raise the bar in the real estate industry. Having video is one of it, right? Being, being there, and how are we gonna, how are we gonna do this? Mm -hmm. And that's by sharing content, giving content, collaborating, collaborating creating Best safe practices. Places. That's exactly it, yeah. and so, we had this model in Remax Play and said, well, why can't we, why can't we now go bigger to raise that bar collectively bigger, right? And those are some of the things so that agnostic to brand. Agnostic to brand. Franchise. Agnostic to brand. So now About we're stepping industry. out to the real estate video nation, the Rev Nation. Right, we're creating it. Pioneers, and, and so, adopters. Yeah, so, no so, so a year ago we started bouncing this idea off of each other, and we were on our way to Top Golf, a bomb bomb function at Top Golf in Vegas last year. Who's at Top Golf? He was yeah. there. Oh, you guys yeah. are there. Yeah. Good time. And I said, I said, I grabbed Passanelli early on, and I said, Steve. Our CMO, Steve yeah, Passanelli. Amazing. And, uh, and I said, Steve, can Jesse and I grab a moment with you to run something by you? And he goes, yeah. And I go, Roll a few more beers through you first, and then and then let's have <laughs> let's have a bit of a chat. Then, it, that was unneeded. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you you had him at yeah. Do so, something with Jesse. So and we Michael. just wanted to bounce the idea off him about someone who was involved with tech savvy agent, someone who's involved in Bomb Bomb now, someone who I completely trust, one of the best guys in our industry, one of the best guys I've ever met in my life, and. Um, so we pulled them aside, we were standing up on a top, tabletop bar, and we sat down there and we just told them what we wanted to build. And he said, we're in. And I went, I went, I went what do you mean, we're in? Jesse he, and I are He called like, me, he's like, check out what we're about to do. It wasn't like, hey, do you think, um, what do you, yeah. you know, 
Yeah, yeah and I, I was I, like, we're doing this. And we I should have asked for the helicopter. <laughs> and, and I said, <laughs> and I said, you would have had to ask about I said, that. I said, uh, what do you mean we're in? I said, you know, let's let's have bomb bomb. Let's. We want to build out the back end. We want to build out the yeah. blog. We want to build out the infrastructure. And we were just going to like Facebook group it and have like a Wix.com yeah. page or something like. We didn't really see it as big. And now we're literally two weeks away from from getting on launch. And, like, and, and Ryan's been amazing. Uh, we talk all the time. And Shania is where's Shania was around here somewhere in the back. Like where it's gone now is so exciting. This idea that we're now going to reach out to the best influencers in the industry and ask them for their best tips, and that will stick there on the blog. And then we're going to build a community like we build talking points in your yeah. deck. Yeah, we're gonna build this 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 Facebook community and hopefully have Sales that same. Sales guide, right heart. I like. Hey, you need me over there? I'll jump on the phone, Stan. And then we want to build this. That. We're gonna do that. Yeah, we want to build this community that goes along with it, where there's no sales pitches, right? Like, I talk about Bomb Bomb all the time, not to sell it. I want other people to see the success that Jesse and I have, and I talk about. Michael's turned Bomb Bomb into an action. And I have Bomb Bomb it. Right? Um, Google it, bomb bomb it. Yeah, this and guy like, single-handedly has taken the verb. The verb, the verb, verb yeah. And like, yeah. e like Emo Viewer and all that, these great right. companies, we just want people to come where they can help and ask the questions and inspire people on how to execute against something that we've seen absolutely transform our careers and our lives um, in such a meaningful way. And, and So it's going to be a site where people who want to know more about video get top tips on how to vlog, top tips on lighting from other industry experts who specialize in those fields that contribute. We'll have the Facebook group, right? Where you're sharing, hey, what do you think about here? I'm struggling here. Community talking. We'll have the business page. We'll be doing live streaming events. So three or four different avenues to raise this bar in the real estate industry in regards to video and connecting On a single again. topic. Single topic. Where, yeah. where, where there, you know, we get a lot of groups where there's a lot of noise, which is great when there's not yeah. a perfect, this is real estate, video, and we're going deep. And, and we're, we're just deep. kind of the admins. We're not the face of it. We This is not about in. us. It's, it's and not. we're just powering the website. Yeah. We help well, you're doing a whole lot more than stuff. that, but it's, it's yeah. amazing. Well, it's amazing. We're appreciative to be a part of something like that. Oh, we're freaking honored. Best best conversation, 10 minute conversation we ever had was with Steve and he was like, we're in. Over so, the donuts. I think, I think, I don't know if he was qualified. It was a donut. I don't know if he was qualified to make no, the it was decision. Those ones where we, he's absolutely qualified. <laughs> he shot chocolate into those donuts out of the Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was good. That, that was yeah. good. Hey. I got one last question for you guys and it's for the audience um, watching. Where do I start? And what's just this, look, if I wanted to start this today, yeah. It just what's my entry point? What's it? It's the simplest thing. How can I start? Where I begin? So when you think about these all ideas, it gets overwhelmed. Yeah, it's it's do this today. Yeah, it's like with all the equipment I have. Like I've got ridiculous amount of equipment now, video equipment, and it has a ridiculous ROI. This is my number one camera still as well, and my number two camera is the is a camera on my laptop. Just reach out to someone that you were going to communicate with already today. Mm -hmm. And just use about whatever it could have been about whatever you were going to communicate could have been with about the listing. I promise you, if you can't send out five emails through BombBomb, Bomb, Gmail, or, or on a, and this is not how I'd start with BombBomb. Bomb. This is how I'd start in video, in any fashion, I'd start with BombBomb. Bomb. I promise you, uh, that was amazing or wow response to your email in the first five to ten cents. If one person's willing to respond with wow or amazing, I tell you, the seven of the previous ten people who communicated felt that way but didn't express it, and I... No email you've ever sent, text mail in the last 10 years has responded back with a wow or amazing. It's, and, and, and email's and, still the workhorse. I mean, the, the email is it's just constantly. Oh there. my goodness, yeah. it's the number one. It's the number one social network. I think. It's so, so you would propose starting a free trial with Bomb Bomb, perhaps <laughs> putting on the Gmail app. Jesse, what do we say if people don't take a, a, a free, a free, a free? What happens? We show a picture. A cat dies. A little cute little thing. <laughs> And the picture of the cat I'll send it to you, the picture of the cat is like a little kitten. It's a kitten? Well, yeah, with a little paws and it's doing like this. And I go, that cat dies if you don't sign up for your free trial. Kittens die if you do not send video through. It's, why wouldn't hey, you save that kitten? Uh, guys, our sales team's here. Sales team, try that in a closing tactic. We're killing the cat now. And do, do different types of cats now. and see what actually pulls. Bomb Bomb does not promote. Bomb Bomb does not promote. It's the hurt of animals. This picture is a Yeah. Okay, Jesse. Uh, Another, what yeah, 
start. I really just think you start with believing in yourself and that you have value and knowledge uh, that they can't find on Google and they need to hear it. Mm. They need to hear it from you. And there, there's a built-in record button right, right on this device. And if you get this little, uh, little sticky here, it makes it even easier to record yourself. But believing in who you are and that you have value and know that there's a piece of technology that can relate it, you just gotta hit record and send. Mm. That like that, they, if you break it down that simple, you have value. The world is taking in value through video. You got to deliver it in video. And, 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 and let me prove a point. Let me ask you a question. I don't know the answer to it, but I, I pretty much get. has anyone be, been a bomb bomb customer and sent more than five hundred videos, who's no longer a bomb bomb customer? No. Yeah. Not one. No. 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 Yeah. No, Ethan is not here. He is, I call it Ethan, my literal library of information. No way. And I can channel him immediately and say, no, no. So the only road to success, <laughs> the only road to success met to, to successfully using video is to do it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and then be consistent. Yeah. Like, what's the... Consistent. Yeah. But non-use of Doesn't any, work. Any, <laughs> if I quit exercising, this goes crazy. And I work hard at <laughs> yeah. this. So... <laughs> I gotta work too hard to get any kind of result whatsoever. But you, know, you, you gotta, I mean, you, get, you gotta practice. When I saw you at the airport, start. my heart went. <laughs> no, no, you do have to do it. Yeah, you gotta do it. Yeah, you gotta start. That's rule one. You just gotta do it. But you gotta believe in yourself. Walk to in do the it. water. Start swimming. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, you've so, been great. Thank you. We appreciate you both as human beings, as realtors, and as friends. Thanks thank for you. being here. Woo! By the way. I want you to know, okay, that on this device, I have the four things I use the most oh, here. Wow. And it's Facebook Messenger, it's BombBomb, it's text, it's video. Or not video, it's phone, right? Video is built into three of those four, right? And that's, those are the things I use every single day. So the, the team that put iMessage together, mm. love it. Okay, and I was just having a conversation uh, with JB and Michael and how do I reach Android users? Video through Messenger. So if we're able to get, you know, wrap your brain delivering that, the, the iMessage opportunities in Messenger and utilizing those two, this is where the realtors are living more and more and more now. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's making it easier, but it's getting us those wow responses as well. So thank you. 20 seconds left too as well. And I said it last time and I'll say it every single time I meet with you guys. You're so much more than like a company for me and for my business. Like, you don't know how much you've changed my business and our team's business in such an amazingly power. Like, I feel like I like when I come through here, I feel like it's home. You, you, you. It's more than an app or a. So many places people want autographs. Like, from me. no, no, I want. It's actually I, I, amazing. <laughs> you guys, you don't understand, and maybe a lot of agents don't tell you <laughs> what you've done for our industry and for people in sales in general is so meaningful, and I can never ever thank you enough for changing my life. Shut it, it down. Way. It was worth it. Yeah. That was all I needed. Thank you. Thanks, guys.